It's unlike the Forte, when you bring the audio back, it still retains the nicer qualities of the higher end piece of equipment that you know I have here. So I can kind of feel in some way that I'm taking the studio with me when I go. We're still at Mesa, we're on the RME booth with Matthias, who's going to show us a very special interface. Now, if you look at it, it looks quite small. It's got two mic inputs on the front. You think, two-channel USB interface. But how wrong could you be? Yes. So please tell us. Well, if you turn it around, you see Mardi. 64 channels, 64 channels, 64 channels. That is 192 channels already, in and out. Then we have additional two balanced analog outputs here. We have an ASABU I.O. coming out from a breakout cable here. And on the front, we have the two microphones that you already mentioned and one stereo headphone output. And very importantly, the USB 3 connection. Yes, because we wanted to transmit all these channels at the same time. We needed bandwidth. So USB 2 is not enough for that, of course. Uh, at this time, we are maxed out at about 70 channels, which this unit supports too. You can use it with USB 2, have only about 70 channels transferred to the computer, but you still have access to everything because all the channels are uh, uh, processed in this unit directly. But anyway, um, USB 3 has the bandwidth. It's really amazing. We did tests where we run all the channels in and out of the computer and at the same time transfer data onto a hard drive, 100 megabytes per second. The audio wasn't disrupted at all. But of course, one of the problems is that nobody makes a suitable USB 3 chip. That's why we did it on our own. Yeah. We developed about one year and put everything into the FPGA like we do for 15 years now. Yeah. Uh, so this is a very RME kind of solution. Yeah. So is this um, still in development or is it shipping now? Uh, that will be shipping around June or July. So not too As far we, away. As we show here the people, everything works. Mm. We still have a few small stuff that we will change, but it's ready. Any idea on pricing yet, or is that still under development too? The, the what, sorry? The price. Oh, the price. Uh, I can only estimate about 2,000 euros. Okay. But yeah. With a channel count of 394, that's not too bad, is it? It is. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Matthias. That's much You're appreciated. Welcome. <laughs>